Zion reached out to me and asked if I would put together a quick tutorial on how to achieve the vertigo shot using the Crane 2 and their servo follow focusing motor. At the time of this video, they are selling the Crane 2 and providing you the servo follow focus motor for free. So if you're interested in purchasing this actual setup, uh, hit the link in the description and you'll see pricing and availability. I want to preface this tutorial by saying that you're going to want to have a camera that has decent to awesome auto focusing capabilities as well as a lens that is internally constrained throughout its zoom ranges. And when I say that, I mean that you don't want the lens to extend or retract when you're zooming in and out to get the best possible results when you're out there shooting. So with that all out of the way, let's look at the setup that I'm using here in this video and then we'll take a look at some sample footage. So here I have the Crane 2 servo follow focus motor, the Sigma 18 to 35, the MC11 and the Sony a7 III all perfectly balanced even with a, a variable ND. If you're interested in getting to this stage of the setup, I'm not going to walk through it in this video, but hit the card here and that'll show you how to get the servo follow focusing motor working on your crane too. And instead of putting it on the focus ring of your lens, you're just gonna move it back to the zoom ring. Another thing that puts you on the path to success is setting up the follow focus motor appropriately on the zoom ring. As you can see, the 18 to 35 stops when we get to this point, it doesn't go anymore. And it also stops when we get to the 35 millimeter focal length. We don't wanna grind the teeth on the follow focus motor as we make adjustments on the focus wheel of the Crane 2, because it will turn infinitely. So we're gonna wanna set AB points on the actual gimbal itself so it stops here, and then it stops at the 35 millimeter focal length, so you're not damaging your equipment. So to do that, we go ahead and power on the gimbal. Now that the gimbal is turned on, I can see that I have control of that. If I go further than 35 millimeters, it's going to start grinding and then it's gonna be a big problem from that. Now I'm just gonna set it at 35 millimeters. Then I'm gonna go down to the gimbal's menu system, go down to wheel, then AB point, then set A as my 35 millimeter point. So I'm gonna turn the focus wheel to the 18 millimeter focal length, stop right there, go back to the menu system, on B, set it as my other B point. So when I go back and forth between the two, it's gonna to go to 35 millimeter and stop, 18 millimeter and stop. Now that you've set your AB points, you're ready to go out there and shoot. But there's a couple of things that we wanna talk about in getting the best possible vertigo shots. As you move into your subject, you're gonna to wanna to zoom out. Or as you walk out from your subject, you're gonna to wanna to zoom in. So it creates that vertigo shot as the background compresses and it gets closer to your subject or as your background opens up, creates a really nice vertical effect. That's something you're gonna to wanna to keep in mind and you're gonna to have to practice. As you have had the AB points set on your crane too, you're ready to get out there and shoot without any problems. So practice a bit between going from your sub closer to your subject and back from your subject as you zoom in and out from those two different things. With that being told to you, let's take a look at some sample footage. Before I close, I must disclose Zion was kind enough to sponsor this work. So without them, this video would not have been possible. Well, that about does it for me in this one. If you like this video, please feel free to give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. Thank you for taking the time to watch. I am Tomas and I will catch you in the next one.